All right, boys and girls, welcome along to the vlog. We're back in the cellar today, and it's time to sort out this ceiling. So, in the past, we put up what is now a very well breached vapor barrier or damp proof membrane, the best we could at the time, and some rock wall insulation to try and keep the cellar cool. So, it's time for an upgrade. I'm Harry, and this is insulating a beer cellar so welcome along to the channel guys uh yeah like i say this job has been a long time in the coming um it's something that we put off because what we'd done originally was sufficient but since we've had that much work done down here you know the vapor barrier if you like has become somewhat completely breached and whilst the new one isn't going to be absolutely perfect, it's going to be a damp site better and it's going to have better insulating values as well. We're going to be using the foil type insulation. I've got some outside if I just take you across here to have a look. This is the stuff. So we're going to staple this to the ceiling. It'll act as a, sm a modicum amount of insulation, but uh, more so to prevent moisture ingress so this room's fine this is a dry store and it's still got a plastered ceiling although it looks like it's going to come down soon this room did have a plastered ceiling but the floor was rotten under the sink at the kitchen so we had to remove that and as you can see we've got this barrier up on there at the moment and that's mainly there because we didn't want to put plasterboard on the ceiling so we could access the joists because a lot of them were quite rotten and we could also access the services. So this is just there to hold that insulation up. And we did the same in here. And of course, Visqueen was the deepest, uh, cheapest DPM that we could buy at the time. And it did the job. But now we're going to change it out. At the moment, I'm just disconnecting all the services and bringing them down. We do have these two props in here. They normally sit on this side of the building because the... Uh, Floor joists aren't anchored correctly over on this side of the wall, so the landlords decided that two acro props on a spreader beam is sufficient to keep everyone safe. And who am I to argue with the man he owns many a building? Uh, so we're waiting for he's going to build a wall. I don't know where he's going to do it, but just to take the load of that uh, beam on that side. But that's a different story altogether. So here you can see. This is the floor from the pub upstairs and you can see how badly terminated all of the timber work is. It's just basically fixed to this external wall. There's our main electric feed coming in. It's not really good enough, but you know, we're going to have to live with it because that's, uh, you know, that's the, the cards that we've been dealt. So this floor, I've got some more rock wall insulation here. We're going to pad that out with that stuff. We're going to staple this back up to hold it and then we're going to put all of the new insulation underneath and then we're going to hang all of the services all of the cables pipes pythons gas pipes everything's going to hang beneath the insulation so we don't have to cut through the insulation to service anything brief digression from the cellar video uh, we spoke yesterday about these new shives they work perfectly fine there's one are you going to hammer it home, Jim, or is that not full yet? Uh, no, it's not full. I just didn't know if I right. to do a comparison. No, I, I did yesterday. I measured them up, putting everything on the the, micro, the, 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 the calipers. Fine. Anyway, let's get back to uh, Cellar Insulation 101. It looks kind of crazy in here, I must admit. So I'm in the process, obviously, of disconnecting everything so we can uh, get the sheeting up. We've got this side up already. Looks a heck of a lot better. This side to go in now. And uh, this should take us up to about here. Then it looks like we've got maybe another one and a half or two to go in. At the moment, I'm just taking out all of these old uh, cable clips. because we're gonna be remounting everything with um, 18th edition kind of metal, um, what do you call it? Metal clips anyway. So they're going to comply with new regs, even though it's an existing installation and we don't have to do that. I thought while they're coming down, it makes sense to do that while they're going back up. But as you can see, 
Looks very strange seeing everything hanging from the ceiling. So I'm just going to measure up, cut another sheet, and hopefully this will just slot in and staple up. No problem. It's quarter to seven, and we've achieved full coverage. One thing that I haven't managed to do though today is get the light fitting back up. That's because I want to add some more lights. So we've got a bit of illumination in that little cubby area. But as you can see, it's looking a heck of a lot better. So if we take a viewpoint from this side, it's pretty difficult to tell with the glare of the light. I wonder if this will help. No, not at all. I just thought the emergency light might work. So the reason I've not done that is because I want to add some more lights and of course the pub's open and I can't turn the electricity off to do that. And I've also been round and I've sealed the edge with expanding foam. Some places it looks a bit messy, but I'm just going to come back with a Stanley knife and, uh, and trim all this edge off. But that means that we've got a good seal against the vapour barrier to the wall. As you can see, it's all the way around. I managed to get into all the nooks and crannies. It was quite difficult behind there, so I've just kind of piled it in. That'll do the job. And then over this side, it actually rests on top of the wall. And you can see it's grabbed. It's fixed the vapour barrier to the top of the wall really quite nicely that before would have just lifted up like this so i'm really pleased at how this has all turned out and i found a few voids here and there where the pipe work went up into the bar so i've filled it with rock wall insulation we've got the supports back up all I, is left to do is redirect some of this wiring for instance this piece here comes around this pole if I'd have known I would have looped it back through the other way and then it comes down here when it could just go straight across there so that's probably something I'm going to change unless I just keep it over the top of there and then we just have one cable going across to the wall we'll see I'll make my mind up on that tomorrow but I just wanted to prevent any pulling or tugging on this junction box then I'll need to fix this to the ceiling we've got a junction box over here these are all maintenance free junction boxes with Wago connectors inside or whatever else and I've done them to conform with the regulations. Uh, we just need to put a zip tie through there and then that makes it not accessible unless you actually have a tool to cut that zip tie. So uh, yeah, but to be fair, they're not tucked away behind a floor that's never going to be lifted so they don't need to be maintenance free. They're up there and they're easily accessible to be inspected if needs be. So just another light, probably to spur off of this, sort this cabling out on here. Bit of a mess at the minute. I think I just uh, spurred off to get a light bulb to put in here at some point in the past and then never came back to finish the job. That's me all over, isn't it? So a little strip light in here and then a couple of strip lights in the dry store and then I've got this ceiling to do, which we'll start on tomorrow. While there aren't too many casks, though I imagine, mind you, I'll be here before Stuart in the morning. So we'll not have them on the stillage by then, I wouldn't have thought. So there we have it, folks. My uh, face is, oh, not too bad today. I thought I might be black as the Ace of Spades, but my hair has definitely gone wild because I've been holding up these these pipes with my head and whatever else but that looks a ton better doesn't it so thanks for viewing the video hope you found it useful um you're just watching me do a job basically it's not a tutorial or anything like that but you know what happens on this channel by now don't you so do me a favor and have a look at the links in the description if uh, you've not heard me say it already in the past month or so we're up for north knots business awards we'd love you to vote for us Links in the description for Harrison's Brewery and the Brew Shed. And why not give our friends next door Eye Designs a vote as well, seeing as they're in a different category to us. And uh, I guess that wraps it up, folks. And I'm going to go home and have a cheeky beer. And I'll see you on tomorrow's vlog, if indeed I make one. Cheers.